But this, I'm going to show this right away because how can you not? Look at that view. New York? <laughs> New York? Wow, New York. I want to live in New York City. But so if you've never seen Eastwood before, get ready. It's like going to Disneyland. It's so picture perfect in there. So you got this side over here to get in, and then you get Eastwood. It's a mega world development, so yeah. It is super crazy nice. Everything is perfect, everything's in place. No litter, no nothing. And my building should be like this next one, I think. And my friends, they didn't like being on the vlog much. They're just kind of shy people and that's totally cool. Uh, we met on Barakai and they rented my house when I left Barakai. So that's how long we've known each other for a very long time. Oh, no, not that one. Must be the next, next building. Very close. I can't check into mine for a few hours too, so I'm gonna go for a walk once I get rid of all of this. Oh, there we go. That one right there. Lots of restaurants in this place, my gosh. Not gonna eat anything. If you move to Eastwood, and a lot of you I know are thinking of places to live and everything, you move to Eastwood. It's like a, a community on its own. This is what they plan for places like uh, uh, Roja City is doing and also uh, Festival Walk in Iloilo. Is to make it so that you don't have to leave. Everything you need is inside this one little area. Okay, they let me film this and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, this is a two bedroom, two story, condo here in Eastwood. I, I'm loving this, okay? I'm right on there. Big, big air con, split air con as you can see here. Huge living room, really big. But this, I'm gonna show this right away because how can you not? Look at that view. It's absolutely incredible here. And they have huge windows. Look at that. It goes all the way up to the second floor on both sides. Huge chandelier up there. Kitchen is pretty decent size too, right? You got everything you need. And they got the stairs going up. Let's go up, let's go up. Seriously, this is so nice. So by the way, they pay 55,000 pesos per month for this, um, but that's actually a great deal because it comes with parking, number one. That's expensive. Um, number two is they usually go for 65 without parking. So they got a real good deal. All right, so we got one bedroom over here. Don't think there's anybody in it. No. This is their spare bedroom that they just use for makeup and all that good stuff. Some closets in here, a CR. And look at the windows in this, right to the floor. And they even have the window open in here because they don't, uh, they're not air conditioning it right now. And it's just even having a window that even opens and brings fresh air in, in a condo at this 30th floor is really rare. And I got a TV in here and all that. Yeah. It's a nice CR too. All right, let's keep going. All right, here's the next one. There is their master bedroom. And uh, with windows that out, look out down below into your living room, but that also look right straight out. Huge TV. It's a really nice size, good size bedroom. Man, they have a nice condo, that's for sure. And here you go. They got a full bathtub too, even. Wow, it's a nice place. So yeah, this is a really nice place. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. So this is their brother-in-law. What's your name again? Gerald. Gerald. 
We're, we might be going on a motorbike trip, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. You might be taking me out on a motorbike trip. So there you go. Here's the view of me uh, on a trike down there, of course. But that's so nice. So nice. So I wake up in the morning, open all these curtains. That would be so cool. So cool. He even made the bed. So they have another room that they have their dogs in because this is a pet friendly um, condominiums. Almost all of them are, by the way. That's a big thing about Eastwood. And they hold all kinds of pet friendly events down below on the streets. And uh, they, yeah, so you can bring your pets out too and their comp contests and stuff like that. It's very, very, very bougie like that. You know, the pets all have diapers and stuff like that. Let's look at this window. So yeah, very, very beautiful place. My gosh. And this is a good size condo. If you're gonna live in a condo, you want something like this, not 25 square meter, tiny little place. And another CR right here off the ba uh, kitchen with a shower. And for your laundry, if you do have a laundry machine, you can put two, two right here and you have uh, cupboards above that. Okay, here we go. Hey, the dogs are gonna bark. It's okay, it's okay, baby. All right, all right. That is hot in there, though, eh? Good thing the window's open here, too. I want you to see something really cool here. And they're very proud of this, but... So this is their daughter, who's at the Naval Academy. I'm trying to get no reflection on here. And and what, where is she based? She's in Annapolis right now. Oh, Annapolis. Maryland, yeah. Oh, Maryland, Annapolis. Okay, and that's where uh, she is right now. So, congratulations. I know you have super proud parents right now. She went to LaSalle, where you're going. Oh, she went to LaSalle. I saw the certificate over there, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. She wasn't there the day. I, no, she was already graduated. Yeah. Gerald's going to come with me a little tour of uh, Eastwood because the other guys don't like to be on camera, but, you know. Gerald was like totally all about it. So that's cool. Oh, he's still, he still doesn't know much English though, right? No. I'm gonna go look at this window real quick. I wanna see this view. There's the mountains off in the distance. So that's where Gerald was saying uh, he could take me on his motorbike um, and then we can go for a drive tomorrow up into the mountains. Now, most people, including me, don't realize that you can live in this crazy modern city area and be 15 minutes in the provinces. I didn't know that, but you have to live over here to do that because it's only 15 minutes to get up into those mountains there. Uh, drive, apparently. They might be exaggerating. I don't know. I'll find out tomorrow. Um, but still, uh, very, very close to get you out of the city if you live right in this area. Other parts of Middle Inn are good luck. But you can see right there how it all kind of starts to turn green really, really soon. Hello, how are you, brother? Awesome, awesome. Booze and chews. There we go. Are we going this way? All right, cool. Dunkin' Donuts. So the interesting thing about uh, what they were talking about is everything is so easy to get here, you take it for granted. You might, you kind of get bored of it, he said, because everything is here. There you go. Kuya J's, Popeyes. I'm not sure what this place is, but uh, roasters, there's coffee, p p uh, pizza over there. I don't know what this is, but it's just full of gorgeous restaurants all over the place. A market in the middle there where you can buy um, handmade goods and stuff like that, jewelry. The orange bucket, orange fusion or some Cajun fusion. Lots of live music in different places. Super Bowl of China, not football related, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty crazy in here. Like, what do you call it? Master planning at its best when you see stuff like this. So 
really nice. And they have a huge mall here. It's a Robinson's Mall, and then a walk that walks through it. And I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but they do have streetcars here to kind of mimic uh, San Francisco. Because they used to say they were the San Francisco of the Philippines sort of thing. And at night, this all lights up. It's all beautiful in here and full of people. They also have this walk of fame and it goes all over the place. So you can just follow it if you're not sure where to go next. Um, and they have the different stars of the Philippines. Plus, uh, they actually have some uh, foreign stars in here too. I guess if they starred in a role that included some Filipinos or something or a Filipino made movie. So far, I don't recognize any of the names, but I don't know. And so I believe this part, you can go up into the second floor and then they go, it goes all over as well. Down in there is nice. They have different areas, different looks for each area. They got a Denny's there, 24 hours a day Denny's, 24 seven, nice. PGI Fridays. I don't want to just point out restaurants for you guys, but there's all kinds of stuff here. And you'll notice another thing that when you're in this area, you're going to hear a lot of English. <laughs> a lot more than anywhere else. Anybody, there's a lot of big, big companies here like IBM and stuff like that. So they're all dealing in English all the time and they just get used to it. The small amount of people I have talked that lived in this area, it is like a monthly budget for them, about three, four, and five thousand US dollars a month, depending on the level of eating out and stuff like that you want to do. Because the prices of the restaurants in here, for the most part, are Western prices. So you're going to pay eighty to a hundred dollars for two people to eat, uh, have dinner, that kind of thing. But if you eat fast food, of course, it's going to be cheaper. You eat from a little uh, truck like that cheaper those kind of things they're in the malls there are a lot of big brands and the big brands want the same prices anywhere else so you're gonna be paying forty dollars for that t-shirt sort of thing yeah it's part of life but you get to live the Western life with this beautiful temperatures at three to four thousand uh, per month you know type income that's really good it's really good because in the West nowadays three to four thousand is not getting you very far So many condos here. Yet it never looks crowded here. Except for when I've seen online with the, the concerts that they hold for free down here. Then it can get pretty crowded. Look how busy this place is. Massive line of people all the way. And they limit how many people can come in at a time. Oh, that's a popular place. What are they selling in there? Jico, he called it, but JCO. That's crazy. How is it that good? What do they put crack cocaine in it? All right, he just explained it with a little Google Translate. Cheap, that's why. It is the cheapest place to eat in here other than McDonald's. So that's why everybody is lined up for that. Good food, cheap price. Okay, this is my Airbnb I got and it was like 70 US dollars for two nights. Two nights, three days. So like 35 bucks, uh, 1,700 pesos, something like that. Or just under 2,000 pesos per night, including the cleaning fee and everything. And I, I got it on Airbnb. So uh, pretty decent, you know, what you're gonna need anyway. So this is a good bathroom. 
Got a shower here. I don't see a hot water heater, but I don't know yet if that's just because it's all built in here. I don't know. It's got a washer. That's cool. And, you know, a little kitchenette thing. You got kettle, toaster, cooking stove, all that good stuff. Um, there, there is a fridge here. So the reason I got a cheap price is they said, uh, I hope you don't mind, but the reason the price is lower is because the fridge isn't working. Cool with me. Don't really need it. So I got uh, two different working desks here, TV, fan, uh, air conditioner is up there. You have uh, karaoke, because you never know. Another desk, so three desks. They normally live here, but they're right now in Bata Bataan, she said, and so she put it up on Airbnb because they're gonna be gone a couple months or something. Uh, futon that can be folded out to a bed. Of course, you have the bed. And uh, yeah, this is my view over here. And one thing I just noticed is, uh, which they clearly know about because it's already taped up, is they have a broken window. And this is the opening type window. Um, and then there's, oh, this one's opening as well, okay. So they both open, but that one, I don't know if a bird struck it or something hit it right there, it looks like, so. Anyway, it is what it is. The price is fantastic to be right in a heart of this area. I even mentioned it to our friend there and he's like, $70 for two nights? I'm like, yeah, good price, good price. Got a view of somebody's pool down there. Nobody is in it. And a bunch of people's office spaces, I think. Wow, I'm in a really, really, really cool area. It's very like trendy, hip, and we're, we're not in Eastwood anymore. They said, no, let's go somewhere else. We've been to Eastwood, we've been to all the places. A tattoo parlor up there. This whole place is very, very cool. Look at the bike. All right, so I just wanted to get to the beginning so I can figure out what the name of this place is. They're gonna meet me later. They just said, here, you go and vlog it and we'll meet you at the restaurant. So, I wanted to find the name. Kubao Expo entrance, Kubao. All right, so let's see. There's all kinds of like art shops, gift shops, coffee shops. Well, sleep dentistry, look at that. In case you wanna fall asleep, that's the best kind of dentistry. Lots of clothing, I got music over there. Hopefully it's not too copyright. Clowns, because who knows when you need a clown, come here. I'll also find out what district this is. I have no idea. They got barber shops. Yeah, lots and lots of cool things. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if those are costumes or just busts. Probably just busts. but really eclectic type of uh, art and gifts. Oh, that's cool. Vintage market over there. So I don't know, you get old record players, whatever. Now, the downfall for us and for anybody who comes in here is going to be parking they have limited parking here and they put you on a waiting list and then you got to just keep driving around in circles until your number comes up i don't know how they make that work but somehow they make it work maganda gabi bellini's cafe yeah it's really quaint in here Look at that old record store. Wow. And when you look at that, all the way out here, the Paz Bat Choy available for sale. Hello, everybody. So cool. Good evening. Maganda Gabi. This is so cool. I'm the first time in this area, and I'm really blown away. It's an amazing place. This is your shop? Yes. Very nice. How long have you had this shop? 20 years. 20 years? 
Oh, so this is not a new place. So I just heard from uh, this gentleman here that they've been in business since, uh, this has been in business since 1968, this area. And so this is not a new area. This has been decades of growing up here. But you've been doing this for 20 years here, your shop. Well, that's fantastic. And I don't know, how did you collect so many good things? What do you? Just traveling around? Yeah, yeah I don't guess it's the area. Oh, it's just around the King's Own City area. So just looking for good treasure. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's a great idea. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Yeah. Okay. And now, this would be a lot easier to do in the West, right? But here, in the Philippines, it's much harder to find a lot of these items here. It's just not as simple. People just don't have, like, yard sales everywhere, you know? Incredible. Oh, wow, you just goes forever. He's collected and collected and collected for an enormous period of time. This is such an impressive collection. Yeah, that's why. Wow. How does your wife feel about all this? <laughs> She's okay? She's okay? I don't know. I don't know. Some some wives are not so forgiving. <laughs> They'd be like, listen, this is an addiction. Wow, you can even get video CD. I can't say I've seen that in a long time. There's a VHS here too. Some VHS tapes. If he doesn't have it, chances are nobody's going to have it. That's impressive. Thank you very much for this tour. I appreciate it very much. Custom rides, full restoration and build. Look at that. That's well, true. You will die naked if you don't have any ink on you. There you go. I don't know if that's an old photo booth, but it kind of looks like one. Well, maybe it's like a hidden bar. Maybe it's a secret bar and you push into here. No, nope. I was thinking it might be though. Ganda Gabi. Ganda Gabi, welcome to Philippines. Thank you, this is so beautiful in here. I'm loving this area. How are you brother? And here they go, this is where they brew that beer. All right, we're gonna try the Snow Moon. Witcher beer, 55% alcohol, I don't know. Dang. What's the 55%? 5.5. Uh, five, five oh, 5.5, oh, okay, okay. And it's uh, 220 pesos or 200? I 220. See. 220, so what's yes. the 200? Oh, right. ESB, whatever that is. Okay, cool, cool. There you go. Smells like Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good beer. Cheers. Good beer, brother. Good beer. Thank you. Brewmasters, right there. What's your name, Brewmaster? I'm Vincent, bro. Vincent? Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, so we're at the Habanero Bar. Let's say hello to everybody. Maganda Gabi? Is that nighttime? All right. Maganda Gabi, everybody. I can't wait to try your food. Apparently it's going to be amazing. How are you guys? Doing good? You have to wait for a table. It takes a while. We just got ours. It's upstairs. Hello. Good evening. Maganda Gabi. I mean, they laugh probably because I say it wrong, but you know. Habanera spicy cheese pizza. You like spice? <laughs> uh? So this is a butter, what's it called? Yeah, uh, stuff in butter. Uh, Look at that. Coffee, butter, vodka. Yeah. Oyster sea sig. So I've seen seafood sea sig, but not oyster seafood. So I ordered the steak. Um, it's like a slab steak, so I don't know what that means, but it looks good. And uh, and this, we're just waiting for a knife so I can cut into it. But uh, I've already started eating. It comes with egg and some I don't know, tomato and onion, that kind of thing, and rice. Okay, so I'm gonna make my sandwich, my lechon sandwich. And 
You gotta take the sauce. I might burn my face off. It's called that burro. Burro. Burro sauce. Burro sauce. And uh, what about the vinegar? Should I do vinegar too? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit? Eat your spoon. Oh, spoon. Spoon. <laughs> vinegar. Everybody in this restaurant, I swear to God, has this platter. Okay, so this is what everybody orders. I didn't order. They ordered. They knew better. I didn't know. For sharing it, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. Bro. Is that bones? Maybe you can eat all of it. Oh, it's not bones. Okay. It's bones. okay. I was just not expecting the crunch. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's good spice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good spice. It's not like a. Oh, you know, you don't taste anything? Yeah. Mm. For the essence, mom, sir, is, uh, is probably flavor. Uh, edible flowers on top, and two, uh, then the two uh, big red po. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a spice guy, so wish me luck. Habanero, ice cream. They're all looking at me like I'm crazy. Are you ready? Oh, it's starting now. It's a little bit. There it is. We can taste it a little bit. I never imagined that having your ice cream would be like that. Yeah, I thought it would be like, oh, that's going to be gross. No, it's really good. That was pretty cool. Come here, come here. What's your name, brother? James, sir. You know what? You guys did an amazing job. That dessert, though, that's so cool. Thank well you so done, much, well sir. Well done, well done. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you guys. That was actually one of the most incredible dinners in a long time. Why are you hiding? You put it on because I put the camera on? Really? Come on. Don't. What is it? Guapa? Guapa. Guapa. Don't hide the guapa face. Come on now. Thank you guys. Yeah, look at them. They're peer pressure. Peer pressure. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. It's like literally science. That looks like you guys are doing like Ow. testing back there. Very cool, very cool. All right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys. Super cool habanero kitchen bar. That was fun, that was fun. All right, look at this. Look at this. So these girls live here and get not to enjoy. Here, not here, but like oh. in this area. Yeah, okay. This area. Not, not. Yeah, not here. I didn't mean you live on the sidewalk. Right? <laughs> but no, the cool thing is, is you get to ex come here anytime you want. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this is like a hot spot, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, there's food, drinks. Like yeah. we just have the place. best donuts ever. Yeah. Right. Now, do you work in this area or go to school? Go to school. All right. What do you go to school for? It's a secret. <laughs> it's confidential. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to think of what kind of <laughs> subjects would be considered confidential. Like, are they two flight stewardess? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're going to be doctors and they don't want anybody to know that. I don't know. All right. That's fair. That's cool. That's cool. What other cool things are to do in this area? Oh, there's um, so many gift stores here. So many things. Yeah? yeah they're they're like, so cheap. Yeah, I believe they nice. call it ukai ukai, yeah, ukai yeah. though. Ukai ukai, yeah. We love the shop. Yeah. It's like our favorite thing. Well, in this this area though, they're like much more vintage clothing, right? Yeah. 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 So you gotta pay. You gotta yeah. pay more money. Yeah, pay it's more money. Cheap, though. It's, yeah. No, it's quite cheap there. Though. Oh, is because it? There, that's the ukai ukai. Oh, I assumed so it was overpriced over there. Some <laughs> are like vintage and they're rare, yeah, so, so they like, they are costly. But some, but are some stores show. like those are very nice. And you both live in Quezon City. I've always lived in Quezon City. Yeah. So you're like local, local. Local. Nice, nice. <laughs> and is this the one place you want to be if it could be anywhere in the world? Um, no, I want to be in New York. Yeah. New York? <laughs> in New York. Wow, New York. I want to live in New York City. But you, yeah, I was going to say New York City. You don't want to be in New York, trust me. Yeah, like, no. Yeah. There's New some York parts City, of New York here really like, uh, you don't want to go live in Buffalo. Yeah. New York, that's not nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so New York City, and do you think you're actually going to do it one day? I hope so. Okay, cool. Because we work hard. Yeah, yeah. we work hard. Well, I'm a Canadian, I can guarantee oh, you. Oh, you're Canadian. You can get into Toronto, no problem. Oh, like, oh Canada, no. Canada is so easy yeah. to get into, to be honest. True. A lot okay. easier than America. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, 
But that's cool, that's cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was really awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, I found a whole new section. I haven't even been over here yet. This is called, I guess, Art Island? In Island, Art In Island. Well, my friend's getting his hair cut right now, and it's one of those, like, they take their time. And it's 400 pesos, so it's a good price for that type of level of haircut. Um, I know you can get 50 pesos in the province. I know, guys, I know. Or even on the back streets. but. For a full end barber that spends two hours on your hair, 400 is not that bad. So anyway, I'm, I'm having another one of these snow moon because they're really, really good. So if you do like this type of beer, you got to try it out. I'm having another. Not a bad way to wait. There's a lot of people going around. You never know. Okay, I'm, so I'm going to give you an idea of what it's like at night here in Eastwood as well. Because tomorrow night, it's Thursday night tonight by the way, won't be as busy. But tomorrow night, I am going to be in uh, the Makati area, in the Poblesian area, where, well, the nightlife's pretty awesome. So uh, that's why I'm going to show you on a Thursday night, not on a Friday. But stay tuned, you'll like Makati. So let's go take a look and see how busy it is on a Thursday night here. All right, first off, as you can see, it's not dead. There's actually people in all different areas over here getting coffee or just walking around, which is already a good sign. It's a very, very good vibe here. You can just wander around. I love how cool it is lit up in here. Like they make it so inviting so that more people come out, obviously, and they're doing a good job of it. There you go, all the trinkets and everything else. Lots and lots. Wait, does this jewelry bring luck or anything like that? Pineapple, pineapple, rich. All right, pineapple, and what does pineapple represent? Represented in the rich in Chinese. Rich in Chinese, yes. all right. But are you rich in the Philippines? No, not yet. Okay, <laughs> only rich in China. I hope, kind of yes, You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Rich in Chinese. There you go, pineapple. I feel like though, um, I've seen a lot of symbols in Chinese that uh, represent money. And so it's like, I think you guys got a lot of stuff that are related to money. And just like in BGC, they have the, the friendly cats all over the place. And they have little collars on them, people feed them. Hello, kitty. Hello. Look at that. If you don't know, I love cats because they love chasing cockroaches and spiders. Hello, pretty girl. All right, keep moving. All right, so the bar area is clearly doing really well. Okay, I gotta go back and edit. I just wanted to get a good idea what it's like over here. Tomorrow night will be the party night. Not for me, to, I gotta be Mr. Responsible every once in a while. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back and edit. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. And click like if you did, and hopefully you're subscribed. We'll see you guys again soon. Thank you everybody, take care.
what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the moment. 